What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you the design that we are going to do for our trading bot. The design is quite extensive, but yeah, let's see what we are going to do. First, we are going to create a bot.py file in which we are going to basically have everything. So in this file we are going to have a class, and this class will have a list of threads, list of ticks, what I mean with these ticks are the prices. We will take prices every every 15 minutes, uh, or I don't know, <laughs> I think every 15 minutes. Then the trading data, which is a dictionary that it's uh, defined here. We will, we will have lotage, time period, average spread, market, buy model, and sell model. Uh, we are going to use artificial intelligence, and that's why I have here buy model and sell model. I don't know if you check this, but I have a spider here. Yeah, I have a spider. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue. So yeah, we are going to use artificial intelligence and we are going to build two models. In the next video, I will show you a very a very cool feature that MetaTrader has, which is that we can take a lot of data. And when I say a lot, I really mean a lot of data. And with all that data, we can create a lot of models. So we are going to create a K neighbors models. Like we could create an, a neural network, but when I build that, I will explain why we are choosing a, a neighbors model instead of a neural network. So yeah, we also have indicators, which is another dictionary. And here it's explained. These are going to be the indicators that we are going to use. Also, this information will be the one used in order to train our models. So yeah, then we have several uh, methods which are going to create threads. So for example, we have this one which is thread tick reader, which is going to be a thread that reads the, the ticks. Then we have thread orders, that is going to be a thread that will open and track operations. You have it all here. Then MACD, RSI, uh, slope and abstract. You have it all here, but we are basically going to do several several files in which we are going to load the MACD MACD indicator, the RSI indicator. We are going to load all these indicators here, which is the slope, absolute maximum, absolute minimum, relative. And we also have a thread which is the AI, artificial intelligence thread, which is just going to load the models. And the, the thread is going to put those models in this dictionary. So whenever the order order thread have, whenever the order thread try to to use these models, it can uh, use them. So yeah, if we move on, we have here the files that we are going to use. And as you can see here, like in these files, there is not much information. But look, for example, in the MACD file. We just have a function which is going to be the the MACD and well the thread MACD and this function will compute all the values. Also in this file we have these two functions that are going to be called by the orders file, which is check buy and check sell. So uh, this function is going to say, hey MACD says that you can buy, hey you cannot buy, whatever. The same happens with the RSI. RSI file. In this file we don't have any global variables but we have the same functions and yeah that's it. Then we have the same for the slope and ups uh, relative but in this one I think that we are not going to use this because yeah we are not going to use this because this is going to be used by the by the model like here we cannot say if we can if we need this or not. Like the model is going to say, hey, these values are okay and I think that we can open this or whatever. And finally, we have here the AI, AI file in which we have uh, the models, which I think I will not put it, in, I will not put them here because we are going to save them in the, in the dictionary. And as you can see here, we have uh, thread orders. Well, I forgot to change this, give me one second. So yeah, now everything is okay. And in this file, we just have here um, the function thread AI, but this file, this thread will not be executing all the time. Like it will just load the models and that's it, it will, it will finish. 
but in this file we will have several functions such as check by that this function is going to use uh, the ones here and here and also the values uh, taken from here and it's going to use the model to check and say hey you can buy or you cannot buy or, or sell whatever so yeah this is the design i've done for the bot and i hope that you enjoy in the next videos how do we, how do we build it so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you understand my design and hope to see you in the next one. Share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price.